Have you ever thought, hmm, what's so good about meat as health for eating? Here in this video, I'm gonna show you the secret use of meat because let me tell you guys, it's gonna blow your mind away. First off, I'm gonna show you how to make all routed vehicles that can work not only on the ground, but also air and water. What you need to do is to prepare meat, of course, and the zona devices, which is stabilizer, fan and steering stick. Yep, you heard that right. You don't need a wheel to make this all-rounded vehicle. Now, you just need to fuse them together just like what I did in this video. This is the design. For the meat, you need to freeze it so it becomes icy meat. In this case, I'm using a white choo, choo jelly. But you can do other things to freeze your meat also. Once you fuse the icy meat to your vehicles, it's ready to go. Let's do the test. I want to go down the hill with this vehicle. Will it be working or will it break? Let's find out. So down we go. Woo! Smooth landing. Let's run around the area for a while. So like I said earlier, this vehicle also works on the water. How could this even be possible? Well, I don't know, but it works. How cool is it? Do you agree that this is the best vehicle in Zelda? For me, it is. Let's get out of the water, shall we? Wait. Wait. Oh, okay. So the downside of this vehicle is it cannot climb uphill. So yeah, there's a plus and a minus. Another use of icy meat is that if you fuse on a shield, it can help you glide down the hill faster just like this. I can say that this is the fastest way of surfing down the hill, so it's really worth a try. You can even do a freestyle while on the way down. So cool! Moving on to the next tips. When you're gliding, and you see something's interesting down there, you're probably thinking, is it possible for me to take it and go back gliding without the need to go back to my previous gliding point? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. You just need to do a mid recall trick. At least that's what I called it. Now, how to do it? First, while you're gliding and you see something interesting below you, just shoot a piece of meat to that area and drop yourself too. Then, when you've finished collecting what you want to collect and want to go back gliding, attach the piece of meat to your cart or other zona device and do recall. This way, the meat that has been attached to the zona device will take you back to the sky. No more wasting time. This method also works if you want to take Korok back to their friend. Just shoot the meat down the hill exactly to where the Korok is located. And then just go down the hill like this. Walk to where the Korok is and attach it to the meat. Do the recall trick exactly like before and the Korok will be with their friends. Let's go up there to check if they're successfully reunited. Oh, look at them. Let's go back to the icy meat. Did you know that icy meat can help plane to take off without needing a wheel? So if you don't have any wheels, you can just use icy meat. You just need a wing, then turn it upside down, place the meat on the wings like this, Then turn it back up. Add two fans and a steering wheel. And it's done! 
Let's do a test. See? You can just directly take off your plane. It's easier, right? And the last use is, you can lure enemies by using meat. I mean, come on, who doesn't like meat, right? Except for the vegan, but anyway, yeah, it's everyone's favorite. So what I'm gonna do is just sneakily walk here and throw the meat into the enemy. Now as you can see, they're busy eating the meat and just forgetting what's around them. So while I'm shooting the meat, I'm just gonna ignite the bomb around the enemies without it noticing. And boom! They didn't even know what's coming. It also works if you want to sneak attack the enemy. You shoot the meat, and while they're paying attention to the meat, you can sneak attack them. So that's all for today's video. If you have any tips and tricks that you want to share, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video. Bye!